What's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by and hope everyone's having a great day. This is Josh from VHU High in Orbit Over Curve and taking a look at Dingleberry Station. This is my very first space station that I've ever made in KSP and it was a pain in the ass but I've learned a lot. So I just want to get your guys' criticism, thoughts, good and bad, things I could have done to improve, things that you like and don't like about it, just so I know for future because I know I'm not very good at this game. So I just want to show you how I made it. First thing I'd launch is the capsule with the, the processing lab, pretty much standard with some solar arrays, some RCS ports, and tanks um, with a couple clampatrons on either end so we could dock things to it. And then dock to it is a lander here on this end. So this is going to be for if I want to send manned missions to other planets when I get to them. Hopefully I do get to them. Then I can have the Kerbals land on the planet with the lander, get the science they need, launch back up into uh, orbit, of the planet and redock with the station then we can just basically return home at that point so that's the whole point for that on the other end of that i have launched a big nice rocco max x200 fuel tank with four docking ports on all the way around it and four rcs tanks and also some rcs thrusters obviously on the other end of that i have launched you'll see that there are some clampatron ports so the next mission was to get these this steel frame into orbit so i got that into orbit on one side i got one clampatron just so i could dock to this thing this big tank and then on either end i have on the other side i have three clampatron docking ports and those are for the engines so the big engines here are nuclear engines i launched three separate missions to get one engine with the tank attached to it into orbit and docked and these were a huge pain in the ass there was three missions and they took several attempts um, was very difficult for me to do because I'm not the best with docking but I got all three engines docked so the goal is that I don't think that I'm gonna have enough fuel to get to another planet and then get to another planet and then another planet and then come home I don't think it's gonna be an interstellar thing like Scott Manley has done with some of his videos this is pretty much gonna be go to a planet get what I need maybe stop at the moon uh, and then come home refuel and whatnot so the docking ports are going to be uh, for refueling when I get back home, but I think I'm also going to make some probes to attach to the sides of this so that when I get to planets if I don't think I'm going to be able to get there and get back I can drop a probe uh, So I won't be able to get surface sample, but I'll still be able to get plenty of science that just broadcast it back home to so I collect the science so that's going to do it for this video guys make sure you like and Subscribe if you're new to the channel and comment and let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Peace